Hello class, this is section 4.1 and in this video we are going to discuss how to solve a simple system of differential equations. This is the differential equation that we have and we have two initial conditions and that's going to be in general true when you have a linear system like this where all the equations are linear you are going to need as many initial conditions as you have equations. There's also a existence uniqueness theorem that relates to that but I'm not going to cover that. Anyway, so we start as uh, I discussed in the last video by taking the derivative of the first equation to get x double prime equals y prime and this is going to be equal to 6x minus y by the second equation and now we can write x prime equals 6x minus y but by the first equation again this is just going to be equal to 6x minus x prime. So let's write down our second order linear equation. Now we can make our usual substitution x equals ERT and we get ERT with the characteristic polynomial r squared plus r minus 6 equals 0 so again, ERT cannot ever be zero, and so we have to figure out how to solve this quadratic equation. And we use the quadratic formula to do that. R equals minus B plus minus B squared minus 4AC. So that's minus 4A is 1, and C is minus 6 over 2. So that's just going to be minus 1, and this is going to be... Um, plus 24, so it's 25 over here, plus minus 25 over 2, and that means that r is just going to be minus 1 plus minus 5 over 2, or in other words, r is just either 2 or minus 3. And based on what we learned in the last chapter, our general solution for x is just going to be x equals a e 2t minus b e minus 3t. It's all stuff that we've learned before. And we can also find a way to get our y. Remember that y equals x prime. So y equals x prime. And so y is equal to the derivative of this is just 2ae 2t. The derivative of the second thing is just going to be a minus and a minus cancel out, so you get plus 3b e minus 3t. So this is our general solution for x and also for y. No, oh, sorry, this is, uh, let me rewrite that. So this is our general solution for y and our general solution for x. Very good. And now we can. Uh, use our initial conditions to find out what these values are. So x0 equals 1, y0 equals 2 means that our initial conditions are simply, let's write that down in different color, t equals 0, that's what x equals 0 means, x, so x equals so t equals 0, x is 1, y is 2, t0, x equals 1, y equals 2, those are our initial conditions, so let's plug those in. So for this one we get x equals t equals 0, x equals 1, so 1 equals a minus b, because that t equals 0 for the exponentials just becomes 1. From the second equation, we get y equals 2, x, y equals 2, um, t equals 0, so you get a 2a over here, and you get uh, plus 3b over here. So let's call these equations 1 and 2. So now we have a system of algebraic equations. This one isn't too difficult to solve. Notice that if we take the second equation minus twice the first equation, we get 0 equals 0, 3b minus 2 plus 5b, so 5b equals 0, which implies that b equals 0. And this just means that our 
specific solution for our system is going to be xt equals a oops sorry oh we forgot what that we have to find for a first sorry so a is just going to be b0 so a must be 1 right sorry about that so xt is just going to be 1 times e2t and yt is just going to be 2 times e2t so that's our specific solution and we are done